good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. For today's video, I wanted to watch a New Year's Eve related movie since this is the last video of 2022. So that's why I'm watching Bridget Jones's Diary from 2001. As per usual with every single movie that I watch on this channel, I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I am excited to watch. And this one is no different. So with that, if you're here watching right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching and to those of you over on patreon i really do appreciate you over there as well thank you so much for being there thank you so much for your support and i hope you're enjoying all the full and edited reaction videos and the access to the polls if you want to watch the full and edited version of this video or anything else on my channel you can absolutely do so over on my patreon it is five dollars a month for that i also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls which are ran every single friday and that is two dollars a month for that so yeah i have no idea what i'm getting into i have no idea what this movie is about but i'm excited to watch so with that, really do hope that you guys like this last reaction of 2022, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy! It all began on New Year's Day in my 32nd year of being single. <laughs> Once again, I found myself on my own and going to my mother's annual turkey curry buffet. Turkey curry. Ah, huh. the Darcys are here. They brought Mark with them. Ah, Ooh, Mark. He's divorced, apparently. His wife was Japanese. Very cruel race. Now, what are you going to put on? Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Jeffrey. <laughs> oh my Had a drink? No. No. Come on then. Actually, not my uncle. Up. Someone who insists I call him uncle while he gropes my ass and asks me the question dreaded by all singletons. So, how's your love life? Uh, haha, <laughs> none your business. Maybe this time Mum had got it right. Come on, why don't we see if Mark fancies a gherkin? Mark, do you fancy a gherkin? This was the mysterious Mr. Right I've been waiting my whole life to meet. Oh, um... You remember Bridget? Can't remember his name. Maybe not. She used to <laughs> run around your lawn with no clothes on, remember? Oh, that's good. New Year's resolution, drink less. Oh, and quit smoking. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, those are failing so far. <laughs> Mother, I do not need a blind date, particularly not with some verbally incontinent spinster who smokes like a chimney, drinks like a fish, and dresses like her mother. Damn. I suddenly realized that unless something changed, I was going to live a life where my major relationship was with a bottle of wine. And I'd finally die fat and alone and be found three weeks later, half eaten by wild dogs. Oh my god. I decided to take control of my life and start a diary to tell the truth about Bridget Jones. <laughs> Resolution number one. Okay. Ooh. Obviously, we'll lose 20 pounds. Number two. Always put last night's panties in the laundry basket. Equally important. Uh, oh, 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 what are... Not continue to form romantic Damn, girl, what did you do to those? Especially will not fantasize about a particular person who embodies all these things. And so I guess that's him. I of course. He does not fantasize about me. Sing it, girl! Sing it! <laughs> well, all I asked, I only asked if he wanted to come on a mini break to Paris. Daily call from Jude, best friend, head of investment at Breitling's bank. Oh, he's just a big knobhead with no knob. <laughs> Damn. Is some people's opinion <laughs> of Kafka, but they couldn't be more wrong. Thank you for calling, Professor Levis. F.R. Levis? The F.R. Levis, who wrote Mass Civilization and Minority Culture? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the the F.R. Levis who died in 1978. Oh! oh. Yeah, F.R. <laughs> huh? Appalled by management's blatantly sizes of attitude to skirt. Suggest management stick, not skirt. Okay. <laughs> I've been seduced by informality of messaging medium into flirting with office scoundrel. We'll persevere with resolution to find a nice, sensible man. We'll put Great. a stop to flirting. 
I was gonna say that before. He's like, is he flirting? <laughs> is this his attempt? <laughs> um. Oh God. If walking past office was attempting to demonstrate presence of skirt, can only say that it has failed harmlessly. Uh huh. How dare you sexually harass me in this embarrassing manner? Oh my that God. Is Mortified to have caused offence, will avoid all non-PC overturns in future. Deeply apologetic. P.S. Like a tip from that point. Wow, damn. This is his idea of flirting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I thought it might be a charitable thing to take your skirt out for dinner and try and fatten it up a bit. Oh Maybe my goodness. Your whole future happiness now depends on how- She sounds like Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter. If actually do by some terrible chance to end up in it for granted, surely these would be most attractive at crucial moment. However, shall the reaching crucial moment greatly increase by wearing these? Granny <laughs> <laughs> panties. Do you know where the toilets are? Huh? Solid. Oh, stay calm. Solid. Calm. Solid. Get me worse. Well, it definitely can. Yeah, it, yeah. What are you doing here? I've been asking myself the same question. Are you going to introduce me? Ah, Perpetua. <laughs> this is Mark Darcy. It's an interesting name. I've never heard of it before. Perpetua. Ah, Natasha. This is Bridget Jones. Bridget, this is Natasha. Natasha. That's the colleague, okay. That man is gorgeous. Hi, it's Mark. Just give me time. Give me time. <laughs> oh, okay. Please and listen. Is it on? I, oh, okay. I here to introduce it properly <laughs> is uh, the man we all call uh, <laughs> Tits Pervert. Mr. Don't say it. Don't say it. Tits Pervert. Fitzherbert. Just switch this on. Yeah, that's uh, what I figured. <laughs> So how do you feel about this whole situation in Cheshire? Isn't it a nightmare? I couldn't give a fuck, Jones. Now look, <laughs> how do you know, um, Arcee Darcy? Knew him from Cambridge. He was a mate. And then what? Well, um, then, many years later, I made the somewhat catastrophic mistake of introducing him to my fiance. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, fuck him. Listen, don't let him ruin our evening. How about a drink at my place? Totally innocent, no funny business, just full sex. <laughs> no, no, no. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. People kiss so weirdly in movies. Oh, okay, so it did lead to full sex. Got it, okay. <laughs> Let's go on the floor when there's two perfectly good couches right there. <laughs> I never know what to do during scenes like this, so I just judge them. <laughs> She has the granny panties on. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah? Oh my goodness. Bridget Jones, wanton sex goddess with a very bad man between her thighs. Um, yeah? Mum. Nice, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Put it in the hole. Down, up, down, up, down, and off oh. it comes oh. in your hand. Okay, <laughs> oh. oh. Mind the over. Suggestion, oh my god, suggestive as hell. I couldn't get it out the first time. Mm -hmm. Terrible, absolutely terrible. <laughs> Julian thinks I've got great potential. Who's Julian? Oh, yeah, from the Home Shopping Channel, as a demonstrator. On his cable show, you know, his assistant. Apparently, oh. it's the highest rated show on the channel. Well, apart from the one, you know, where the fat people beat up their relatives. I'm as whiz. Fat people beat up their relatives? What? Okay. Well, I think Mama's going through her midlife crisis. And it's even past midlife, but you know what I mean. And a few weeks later, it got lots worse. Oh. 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 Hanging off this heart shaped pendant. One of my own personal recommendations. Apparently, she and this tangerine-tinted buffoon are suddenly an item. Half our friends have had them round to bloody dinner. 
She's even taking jaundiced Julian to Una Rokelby's Tarts and Vickers party. That's not the Pamela I knew. That's cruel. Have you got a boyfriend? I have. And he's perfect. Will he continue to be perfect? We shall see. He's very flippant. <laughs> Poetry to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you do the boats, I'll do the tea. Wind blown hair to the extreme. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh boy. Hi. Season of mist, then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and goodbye. <laughs> Yes. Uh-huh. You wish that were you. Do you love me? Shut up or I'll do it again. <laughs> do you love me? Wait, you want for it. And over he goes. I gotta go back to town. Oh? Meetings come up. Hmm. Sunday? No, Likely meetings story. Tomorrow. I've gotta work on some figures. Honestly, I don't see what could be so important. No, well, you wouldn't, would you? Because you don't have the faintest bloody idea of just how much trouble a company's in. You swan in in your short skirt and your sexy see-through blouse and fanny around with press releases. You know, this is the Americans flying in because they're thinking of shutting us down for fuck's sake. Oh. I also think it's very important that you win this costume competition. <laughs> now then. <laughs> Miss Jones, where does this go? <laughs> well, uh oh, I don't think that this is a costume party. Oh, yeah. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Oh Bridget. no, not the creeper uncle. Where are all the other tarts and vicars? Oh dear, didn't Jeffrey call you? Yeah. Jeffrey, didn't you telephone Colin and Bridget? How's my little Bridget? Bop bop. Oh, Holly, <laughs> Jeffrey. Stop touching her tail, you weirdo! It like a <laughs> didn't tell you either. No, I didn't spend as much as Bernard, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame you couldn't bring your boyfriend, Bridget. What's his name? David? Darren? Daniel Cleaver. I hope he's good enough for our little Bridget. I think I can say with total confidence, absolutely not. Well, I'm sure he'd say the same about you, given your past behaviour. Sorry? I think you know what I mean. Mark! Hi. Really, really wanted to see a friendly face. Is there someone here? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Unless that Bosnian family's moved mm. in again. Bastards. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going mad. <laughs> Listen, I am feeling really burnt, actually. I should have been there today. No, uh, I'm sorry. No, no. It's just like a double trick. And you know, last night, when I said that I loved you, mm. I've seen mm. that one. Uh huh. Mmm, yeah, or is it like a double, double trick? Double, double, triple trick, or whatever. <laughs> Damn, what the hell? Dickhead. Yeah, no, he's a prick. Got it. Okay. Could have told you that right away. She's not even fat. Like, God. Even if she was. What the fuck? Garbage man. Throw the whole man away. Woo! Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah, that's um, okay. That's kind of what happened, I guess. No, it's very good. Which is good. Stop that. But it's. Uh... I, I feel terrible. <sighs> Truth is, we're the same bridge, you and me. You know, we're two people of a certain age looking for the moment to commit and finding it really hard. And I just think that in the end, it's it's got to be something 
you know, extraordinary, something which makes us go that extra mile. And I think... Sounds like a lot of bullshit. Something to do with confidence and um, being so young, you know. Wow, you are a sleaze bag. Damn. I just can't control it. <laughs> Shut up. We're engaged. <laughs> piece of shit <laughs> wow like that's uh multiple levels of like you're a dirtbag sleazebag piece of shit man okay i hate cheaters i hate people who cheat they're a bunch of bozos there's no good reason you suck i have two choices to give up and accept permanent state of spinsterhood and eventual eating by dogs <laughs> Or not. <laughs> vodka and excessive working out. Okay, okay, maybe no more vodka. It's insane that, like, some people in this movie or this movie consider her to be, like, bigger or fat. It's like, what? <laughs> so, why do you want to work in television? I've got to leave my current job because I've shouted my boss. Fair enough. Okay. Monday, we'll see how we go. Okay, well, there you go. I mean, I know it's been awkward as ass, but there's there's no need to leave. No, actually there is. I've been offered a job in television. Well, I just think you should know that, um, Simon. you know, there are lots of prospects here for a talented Daniel, person. We yeah, just give me a minute, will you, Simon? Lots of prospects for a person who, uh, you know, perhaps for personal reasons has been slightly overlooked professionally. Hmm, thank you, Daniel. That is very good to know. But if staying here means working within... 10 yards of you. Frankly, I'd rather have a job wiping Saddam Hussein's ass. Damn! <laughs> Good for her. Right, right. So, you got me the shot, and then it was your tea time in seven. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, this, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. Turn back up, turn back up. On you in 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Go, 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 go! Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're out of time, we're out of time. Wind her up. Excellent. Not the and <laughs> She's going up and down. <laughs> yeah, of course that went very poorly. Oh, goodness. Hey, Bridge. How's your love life? Oh. Still go. going out without publishing, <laughs> Chappie? Uh, no. Office is full of single girls in their 30s. Fine physical specimens, but they just can't seem to hold down a chap. Yes. Why is it there are so many unmarried women in their 30s these days, Bridget? Why are we... What is... Okay. Y'all are weird. I very much enjoyed your Lewisham fire report, by the way. Thank you. Now, what changed for you? You had no interest in her whatsoever, and now you do. What's, what's going on? I realised that when I met you at the turkey curry buffet that I was unforgivably rude and wearing a reindeer jumper that my mother what's wrong with the reindeer thing. jumper damn perhaps despite appearances i like you hmm. very much uh, apart okay. from the smoking and the drinking and the vulgar mother and the verbal diarrhea no, i like you very much just as you are huh why do you say all the bad things about her before then it's one thing to be nervous, but then it's another thing to be like back talking or not even back talking necessarily, but just talking not great about a person that you like. Interesting. Interesting. Bridget, we fucked up utterly. Eleanor Heaney and Kathy Ragani have come and gone. Actually, nobody got uh, interviews. So how do you know? Because I was defending him and I told him not to give any interviews. Okay. I have a plan. Mr. Darcy. You were defending Miss Dragani, you must be delighted. Bridget Jones, already a legend. All right, well, glad that went well, and not another ass disaster. <laughs> um, hmm. Bridget Jones. Hello, darling. Ouch! Mm. Careful, you ham-fisted cunt. Oh my god. Uh, Between you and me, I'm not entirely sure that Julian isn't a bit of shit. Well, you know, Mum, I haven't really got time right now. Who could be calling now? 
It's yeah. How's it look? Uh, it's great. It's um blue. Blue? How... Yeah, blue. the string. Blue. Yeah. That's why I looked at it weirdly. I'm just like, I don't know if that uh. <laughs> well, remain close. Yeah. Uh, congealed oh, green gum. Oh, good gunge. lord! What the hell is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I would not. I would not. Yeah, that would probably give you some sort of poisoning. So. To Bridget. Who cannot cook, but who we love, just as she is. Oh. <laughs> so is the lesson here, some men ain't shit, but friends are forever? Yeah, probably. Oh, no. Now, why are you here? I can't stop thinking about you. I'm thinking what a fucking idiot I'd be. Mm. Christ, mm. is that blue, Sue? Yes. That's not, that's not the topic. That Continue. Sunday in the country. You're the only one who can save me, Bridge. I need you. Without you, 20 years from now, I'll be in some nope. seedy nope. bar with some seedy blonde. No. Mm, what about Lara? Oh, over, over. Totally fucking finito. You were Stop. engaged. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No! Don't. I'm going don't. Now. Mm. Well, why was Mark Wanker Darcy here? Oh, bloody hell. Wait a minute. He's back. Oh. All right, Cleaver, outside. <laughs> I'm sorry? I should have done this years ago. Done what? Oh. Uh, this. Oh, 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 yeah. Fuck me, that hurt. Oh, what the fuck do you think you're doing? This. Oh, 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 damn. Christ, okay. Oh. oh, boy. <laughs> Why is he getting everyone to watch? Let me get a moment right here, okay? That was him, huh? I did not realize that that was him. That's my bad. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. I'm surprised the cake survived. Damn. Enough. Enough. Thank you. Aww. Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, okay. What is your problem? My problem? Yes! You give the impression of being all moral and noble <sighs> and normal, but you're just as bad as the rest of them. Well, I can see that I've been laboring under a misapprehension. So both of them suck then. Okay. We belong together, Jones. Hmm. Me, you. Still don't like you. Poor little skirt. He's just, he's very sex driven. I don't like that. If I can't make it with you, I can't make it with anyone. No, well, I guess you're not making it with anyone. That's not a good enough offer for me. Good for you. I'm not willing to gamble my whole life on someone who. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> oh, hello. I thought I might ask if I could have another go. Bold request. I don't know, but it's been very hard. Oh, God. I'm joking, you daft cow. Wow. Mm, that's surprising, honestly. You're a better man. Mark will be there. Still divorced. He's also still deranged. Uh, Poor Mark. This was a bad time of year for him. You know, his Japanese wife left him on Christmas Day. Cruel oh, noise. my God. Yes, but I'm not quite sure he didn't deserve it, actually. She ran off with his best friend from Cambridge. Total scoundrel, apparently. Best man at his wedding. Then Christmas Eve, Mark comes home early from work, finds the pair of them in a most unorthodox position. What? Out it like rabbit. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, well, another twist in the story. <laughs> so, Mark isn't the piece of garbage. It's just the other guy. Great. Listen, uh, 
I owe you an apology about Daniel. He said that you ran off with his fiance and mm -hmm. left him broken hearted. No, it was the other way around. It was uh, yeah. my wife, my heart. Yeah, sorry. So Daniel's just a piece of shit. Okay, got it. Noted. Ay, ay, ay. So much back and forth and twist and turn. Daniel was just a piece of garbage, and then both Mark and Daniel were a piece of garbage, and now it's just Daniel again. You once said that you like me just as I am, and I just wanted to say likewise. If you want to see Popeye sometime, that might be nice. Excuse me. We, in turn, have been blessed with our son, Mark. I'm thrilled to announce he has just been invited to be a senior partner in the firm of Abbott and Abbott in New York. Wow. Damn. He also incidentally takes with him his brilliant partner in law, Natasha. Ooh. And um, I don't think I'll mind since we're amongst friends if I say that someday this remarkably clever girl is going to be something else in law as well. Oh. Uh... Boy. To Mark and his Natasha. To Mark and his Natasha. No! Oh, no! Oh, oh, this is not the time nor the place. Oh, Bridget. It's just that oh, no. it's such a terrible pity for England to lose such a great legal brain. Uh -huh. Well. Dash. Okay, well, that was terribly awkward. Thank you, Bridget. Have we got the most fantastic surprise for you? Oh, no, you're not going to sing. You're not that fantastic, sadly, no, but still pretty good. We've decided we're going to take you to Paris for the Hi. weekend so you can oh, forget wow. about everything, particularly forget about Mark Darcy. Can you passport, you Bridget. And pants. On, yep. Pants. Hurry up. Pants hey, and passport. Oh, hello? Bridget. How'd you get back here? I realized I'd forgotten how to take back home. Mmm, smooth. Well, I realized I'd forgotten to, um, mm -hmm. kiss you goodbye, didn't I? Hmm. You're not going to America, then? No. no. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I'll be right with you. Oh. An occasion for genuinely tiny knickers. <laughs> uh oh, oh goodness. Oh, damn. It's in the past, it's in the past, it's in the past. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Mark! Yeah. Oh, you were gonna be running outside with your damn panties on? Okay. Bollocks! Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Running out with just the sh okay. Oh, oh, wow. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I mean, I meant it, <laughs> but I was so stupid that didn't mean what I meant. Everyone knows diaries are just full of crap. <laughs> I know that. I was just buying you a new one. Uh, How to make a new start, perhaps. Wow. Uh, <laughs> All right, keep walking. Nothing to see here. Let's go. The end. <laughs> ah, JK, the beginning. Oh, okay, here we go. What's this? What a mood. <laughs> Started her habits early, I guess. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And now that's it for real. Okay, well, that. <laughs> Oh, what a roller coaster, a little bit, actually, you know? Like, so much back and forth on, like, 
who's the asshat? You know, like, who is the piece of garbage? Who is not? Who actually is? And so on and so forth. But this was fun. I I had a lot of fun with this. It was, it was fun. It was funny. It was definitely just a bit wacky at times. And damn, I mean, Hugh Grant really played a uh, piece of garbage, honestly, really. <laughs> But yeah, again, this was overall a fun movie. It was definitely, again, just this back and forth of, like, trying to wonder who is actually, like, the true bad guy and everything. And yeah, I didn't really have a good feeling about Daniel from the beginning because a lot of red flags, honestly. <laughs> Very sex-driven, sex-motivated, and it always gives me uh, the creeps, honestly. And I don't know if it was just, like, my brain not processing when Daniel was talking about how his, like, wife cheated on him, you know, towards the beginning or whatever, and that it was Mark who was the person that she slept with or whatever. I don't know if my brain just did decided to not process that he said Mark, but, uh, yeah, I didn't realize until it was mentioned, uh, closer towards the end, really. So when it was mentioned again, it was kind of like, ah, both of these guys are cheating asshats. Got it. And then it became, oh, Daniel was lying. Okay, so he's the true cheating asshat and has cheated at least twice uh, that we know of. So, okay, not only does he cheat, but he lies and he's just a massive douchebag overall. Got it. And Mark wasn't really that bad. I mean, he was not the nicest in the beginning and he's very monotone in terms of just like emotionally and stuff like that. Okay, fine. Uh, but he ended up being a good guy. So all, all is good with that. I'm glad they ended up together. I'm glad that they're both seemingly happy. And I'm kind of glad that Daniel got his lights kind of punched out a little bit. <laughs> because once again, truly, what a douche. And again, I really didn't have a great feeling about him overall. So I guess my instinct was correct. Anyway, overall, this was a lot of fun. You can definitely classify it as sort of like a New Year's, New Year's Eve kind of movie. Uh, it was funny. It was very entertaining. And I enjoyed myself overall. And with that, really do hope that you all enjoyed this reaction. And if you did enjoy yourself, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. And it's $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Reacts. I'm mainly over on Twitter, but I'm also on TikTok and Instagram as well. So yeah, this was definitely an entertaining film overall. I thought it was a lot of fun and I did enjoy myself overall. Once again, really do hope that you all enjoyed this reaction and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie. Toodaloo. Adios and goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.